We're standing here at the northern part of Israel in the Upper Galilee, a huge dolmen field all around us, in a joint uh, project of the Israeli Antiquity Authority, Tel High College and the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. We started a new research of this magnificent ancient phenomenon more than 4,000 years ago. This giant stone I'm standing next to is the cover, the top of the capstone of this main chamber of this dolmen and it is surrounded by a pile of stone, a tumulus, which is 20 meters in diameter, meaning we have additional 400 tons used to build this dolmen and into this giant tumulus we have four sub-chambers added and built together, meaning this is a first one of the most complex uh, dolmens ever recorded, second one of the largest uh, and this type of dolmen was never described from the Middle East. We are in the uh, main chamber, the central chamber of this giant dolmen, uh, and you can appreciate the size of this room, which is uh, quite impressive. Um, and in the ceiling of this uh, chamber, we found the most, uh, the most exciting find, I think, of this uh, project. And uh, this is these engravings in the uh, in the ceiling, uh, we have a panel of, I think, something like 14 of those uh, uh, shapes, those forms, um, and we are not sure what these forms mean. We have, uh, all of them are more or less the same. We have this central line that comes into an arch, and it, it's a repetitive uh, form that goes on the ceiling and takes this direction towards the uh, west, uh, southwest.